And the one restaurant owner that I spoke with called this a hard pill to swallow while the leader of a statewide independent business group said that there could have been better timing on this announcement. Speaking with the owner of Wonderland in Shaco, he says that they had been following the rules already in place, already, already implementing their own additional restrictions, but says others weren't. Now there's a spike and they're all having to suffer under a new round of restrictions. He's also agreeing with what the Virginia State Director for the National Federation of Independent Business told me that she understands the reasons behind Governor Northam's order, but says that the two days notice is tough, especially in the restaurant industry with how they place their orders and make their plans. First up, you're going to hear from that state director, Nicole Riley, followed by the owner of Wonderland, Chad Painter, with his message to everyone about following the restrictions this time around. It does concern us when announcements about restrictions are made this late in the day on a Friday afternoon, um, giving them little preparation time uh, to be compliant because that, I mean, businesses do want to play by the rules and do want to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's not about the individual. It's about everybody working together. And that's kind of what it needs to be in the way it should have always been. I mean, there are rules, you know, and then we just, have to follow them so this will end faster than it did now it's obviously coming back with a vengeance and if you would like to see a further breakdown of those restrictions head to our website wtvr.com